what is happening what is going on welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel if you're new here make sure you subscribe if the video is helpful to you hopefully it is but what i'm going to do in this video is i'm going to show you how to create a easy plastic material or upload it to the patreon as always and you can then download them if you become a member supports me in the channel helps me keep creating videos like these so first thing we're going to do is go shift a and we're going to get a mesh and i'm just going to use the monkey suzanne and i'm just going to smooth him or her out like i said we do not discriminate on this channel and boom boom right click shade smooth go to shading as always and zoom like this and we're just gonna do that and that's perfect hit new then click here and do this boom and check that so we can see what we are doing just drag this up a touch first thing i'll do is go shift and get a noise texture and put this here then go shift a and get a color ram so boom 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 color bam plug the color into the base color of the principal bsdf and then plug the factor of the noise texture into the factor of the color ramp then bring this here click on the noise texture hit ctrl t to enable the node wrangler add-on if you do not have that just go to edit preferences and go to add-ons and just type in node and check it if it doesn't work let me know in the comments i'll have a video on how to install add-ons and yeah i'll link it in the description well i'll link it i'll send it to you if you want just comment below and let me know if you need it then what you want to do is change this click on the white make it black so boom and then just drag this in to somewhere like this and what you want to do is click on the second one boom and bring it to somewhere like that then what you want to do is bring your detail up to about eight nine somewhere like that and it's starting to look quite nice and you can see it's starting to look like plastic already bring your scale up to about 95 and you can see there bring the distortion up a little bit to about there and bring your roughness all the way up then what you want to do is go shift a and get a color ramp and then plug the factor of your noise texture into there and then the color into your roughness then what you want to do is zoom in and just bring the black slider in to somewhere like that and the white and the white slider in to about there and then just bring this here bring this bring this down because we're going to add a bump node now so shift a get a bump node plug the normal into the normal of your principal bsdf then go shift a and get a math node so over there plug the value into the height of your bump node then what you want to do is get two noise textures so shift a noise texture put this here and then go shift a and get another noise texture or you could just duplicate it by pressing shift d up to you then plug the factor in there and the factor in there and then what you want to do is bring this here bring this there and plug the mapping into there and the mapping into there as well and then what you want to do is bring your strength of your bump node all the way down to somewhere like that and invert it and that's looking quite nice and then last thing you want to do is just change in the math node to multiply and that looks good look how nice it looks and and then your first noise texture bring the scale up to about there bring the detail up quite a lot and the roughness somewhere like that and this one's look quite nice and the distortion bring it up one and you can see how nice it's looking now what you want to do is click here and change it to multi-fractal bring the scale up something like that bring the detail up and the roughness to somewhere like that then just bring this distortion up a little bit it's just giving us nice detail you can see so it's not just smooth and that's your material and what you can do now is 
I go here and you click here you can always change the color so if you bring this in and you change it to like a blue you can see there you can change your color okay so just keep that in mind it doesn't have to be black you know what I mean you can do like a blue and it also looks quite nice so yeah you can see if I got a layout boom and there we go so yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe if you don't want it to be so if you don't want it to be like so yeah i don't know i think it looks quite nice for plastic material and uh, if it's a bit thick for you you can just play with the, the bump node you can bring it all the way down if you want but yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you check out blender kits link in the description check out the patreon and i'll see you in the next video make sure you subscribe share it with a friend see you in the next video again like i said peace